Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these dark, uncertain times. My friend, one of the greatest ways to find help in our time of need is to turn to the pages of God's precious word. After finishing my coffee devotion this morning, I decided to come out and just to sit in the briskness of the morning and just to enjoy just a little bit of the outdoors. Sitting in my chair out here on the, the back porch, uh, I've been able to hear some beautiful sounds this morning. I heard the uh, hoo of a great big hoodow this morning. And I don't hear that much out here, but uh, it was a little bit different. And of course, the roosters are already crowing and morning is breaking. But friend, the greatest way that I know to find encouragement is not only the enjoyment of the outdoors and the cool morning, but to turn to the pages of God's precious word. And this morning I flipped over to 1 John chapter number 3 and I want us to look at uh, verse number 1. The Bible says here, Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons or the children of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. You know, my friend, when we look at all that's going on in our country today, and uh, we focus on the darkness that we see and uh, all of the unrest, we lose sight of who we really are. Think about who you really are if you are a child of the king. You know, the Bible reminds us in this passage of scripture just who we really are. And it also reminds us of how much God really loves us. The scripture says again, what manner of love the Father God, God himself, hath bestowed on us that we can be called the children of God. Friend, do you realize how much God loves you today? And we get so focused on the darkness and the unrest and all of these things we see going on because it burdens our heart. But friend, it should not take us by surprise that Things are like they are because the Bible in this verse of Scripture makes it very clear. It goes on to say uh, that we could be called the children of God. It says, therefore, the world knoweth us not. The world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Friend, the reason we're seeing the things going on in our country and the world that's uh, going on today it's because people just don't know the Lord. You see, when you get to know the Lord, you get to be a child of the King. And when you're a child of the King, you experience true love. We talk about love all the time. Uh, we'll, we'll tell people, uh, I love you. And uh, we may have a favorite food. We'll say, boy, I love that. But friends, Whenever we read the words of God and he tells us time and time and time again that he loves us, and in this particular passage of scripture, he tells us he loves us so much that he's made us his children, friend, we ought to be encouraged today. Let me encourage you to lose sight of some of the darkness and regain your focus on the light of the world, Jesus Christ, who has made you God's child. And uh, as we focus on that, 
will certainly have encouragement and rays of hope to carry us through this old dark world that we live in. I pray you'll do just that. Go to the house of God today of your choice. There are some people who are still sheltered and shut in. and They're not moving around very much. Tune in to the live streams today. Get a word from God and let it carry you through these trying times. I hope this has encouraged you today like it has me. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.